So next we need to change the behavior of the card. Uh, we don't need all this text and all these blocks to be displayed, especially this block, uh, the card, and we need only to have an icon there. Okay. So we need again to go my to my block card, then get rid of all these spans and let's focus first. We need we have an href full of blocks and a hidden block that displays information about the card. So the first href I need to get rid of all these spans, for instance. Okay? And normally, it should be only the icon. Ooh, refreshing. Pretty good. One more thing is to define the width. So we have a lot of padding, change it to zero. Oh, before that, let's give it a background color that I can understand what's going on here. Uh, then we have some padding, font width, shopping cart. Okay, so shopping cart is 270 pixel. I don't need all that, so let's change it to 70 pixel only. Uh, um, let's maybe 80. Okay, 75 look good. Okay, mm, not good really. I don't need that drop down arrow to be displayed, so 60 is pretty much what I need. Again, block card on the modules on the CSS of array of reading styles. CSS new. Uh, block card is not opened. Okay. So CSS module card block card then look for these information and change them so go to line 20 change this to 60 and uh, almost okay then we need to get rid of this arrow which is an after it's generated by uh, the after so go to line 16 line 16 and the content should be none but refresh and so okay he's not we have a before one we have an after all right all right where this going okay get rid of that too is that an after okay refresh it and pretty much what we are looking for okay so far so good with these blocks uh, we need also to change uh, my account which looks pretty ugly so what's going on here we have here user info and we have account I don't know what so all the uh, janky stuff we will need to get it off from there so we need to type user but not in the CSS or in the modules that's my user info block oops oh yeah now <laughs> um we need to have an icon so it's a bit tricky right here because if i'm signing out what i should see that's why we have an if condition if is logged So if I'm logged here, what is going on? If it's not logging, let's put it to the left just to see. Okay, so it's a sign in which came from this little line. So it's a sign in. Hmm. Let's hide this. So if it's logged, we need. Oh, I mean. What I will do is I will change this if it's logged, so it's log out. Else it's log in. Mm -hmm. We can keep it, but we, can, we may change this later. So if it's logged, if it's logged, we are. 
what we need so we have we display here the customer first name customer last name we only need his last name because the space is oh, actually we don't need to display any information because we have an icon there let's type icon we need to change all this condition this way so if he's logged in we need to display drop down drop down containing a logout and information or profile link all right well, that makes sense else if is not logged in if is not logged in we need to display that login uh, to my account hmm. page link index my account hmm. we need also to display a link right here with Natref to my account then as a message I will set L as my account so my you may ask me what L I stand for okay so uh, we added uh, a link to my account right here then we have a look out then so I can get rid of this a title a spam get rid of that we good refresh and let's back to my browser refresh and see how things look like so normally I have a sign in but now if I go sign in okay so I am logged in and as you see we have the icon that will be an image later then my account so it's pointing the, uh, to my account if you look to my uh, to right here indicating the URL so it's first shot flash English or EN then my account and the sign out which you mean log out so the problem was that uh, the position of the button should be absolute and normally now everything look uh, very much in place for the for the top search block and we needed to we need to float it to the right okay so you may ask what is this this is this came in from the, the other hook I will, that we will remove uh, later on okay go to my block search and then you need to save that uh, these changes block search CSS search so first things to change is the, the span or the div search block top with this style it was only the value top 15 so we don't need that anymore then we search form we don't need any kind of style so it's line 7 actually did change now we especially we don't need any float and uh, a way that's okay to leave it as 100 percent then we need um probably not change anything for the button refresh and so far so good okay we're good give it the background red okay we're good we good and um, so we have the search then we need to work with uh, the, um, the user info user info so first thing to do is to do this uh, to assign a position relative to this guy uh, background red that we can see it properly then we need to work with the drop down I will assign a display non and everything look okay right now let's get this line and this one drop down so it will be display none we need to 
save this into my user info.css block user info uh, block user info.css right on the bottom okay it's already saving so uh, we need now to customize the, the icon style there and to make the block user info fit properly with the the search engine which is just on the bottom of it okay so the solution was to um, to add the height to these blocks you know because we it, it, it does contain uh, a floated uh, content or floated blocks such as the button here and uh, I mean, sorry, uh, the block itself is floated to the right, so it loses like uh, lose the height. Uh, we need to display it as a block, as a table, display table, or uh, you know, display it as a block and give it a height of 15 pixel, and it's okay now. Uh, okay, we need to add this to my search block top. Where is it? Which line? Number one. A height. Okay, 15 pixel. Okay, we're good. Now we can move to my account. Uh, drop user info. Drop down. Be position relative and display none actually display none for instance uh, let's save this into my user info and why is not saving some padding and some styling to the to that icon let's I, I will post the video to look for an icon maybe I will use the bootstrap icons or the font awesome and I'll be back uh, so I picked an icon from the system and as you see I do some cleaning I removed the non used um, the non used block like currency and uh, this block so let's move to customize my user info icon so it will be dependent on this class so first thing we need to remove border non or oh maybe not yeah. so border is applied to, uh, to the user info the user info block user info border non block user info Block user info. Line number one. We don't need any border place. Okay. Then back to my icon. Icon. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's remove the border but we can see things properly. Pretty good. So first thing is to set a color. It will be a pure white. Okay. Then the font size. Oh, before that, set up a padding, 10 pixel, 0, and let's give it a font size 1 pm. Okay, uh, 2 seems good, but 1.5 may be better. Let's see, okay, maybe padding we need to set a 20 pixel without this. Cursor 
should be pointer but when I over this it should be it should display the display the, the drop down uh, let's uh, let's save this for that we lose it what is wrong for and let's create the condition to slide down dot hover uh, drop down display display block yes refresh and still loading okay Find over oh, okay perfect except we need to uh, to add the condition to this guy which will be in position absolute so this guy sh the, the the parent should be relative position relative we need to say this also right here position I mean yes relative yes then for this one should be position absolute position absolute uh, okay with uh, let's give it 100 pixel background red um, it's not red we will pick this color same color the things look properly and uh, a border one pixel solid red one it will not be red I will pick a less aggressive color but it show the blush okay and okay it looks good from the top it will be zero not exactly uh, 40 from the left will be zero and we're good to go.